And now the news for the East Midlands, I'm Elise Chamberlain, good afternoon. First, this lunchtime, a reward of up to £10,000 is being offered to try to trace and convict those behind the death of the Leicester jeweller Ramnik Lal Jagir. It comes as a seventh man is being questioned by police after the 74-year-old's body was found in the village of Stoughton a week ago. Well, Amy Harris is in Leicester for us this lunchtime and can bring us up to date with this investigation. Good afternoon, Amy. OK, thank you, Amy. Next, it's emerged that around 80 people have reported being sexually abused as children at a Nottinghamshire residential home. The old Beechwood Children's Home in Mapley will be at the centre of a national inquiry when it comes to Nottingham later this year. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is in the newsroom now. Good afternoon, Jeremy. How has this emerged? Derbyshire police want to trace a passerby following the death of a man in a domestic incident. Now, next week marks the centenary of women being given the right to vote. After it came after an increasingly militant campaign by the suffragette movement. And a new exhibition in Nottingham takes a look at that historic change in the law in 1918, as well as more modern issues surround voting rights. Sarah Teal went to take a look around. Now, Nottinghamshire Police has enrolled some new recruits today, but they're a bit younger than you might think. In fact, they're all primary school children. They've joined the force as part of a scheme called Mini Police, as Emily Anderson reports. Oh, brilliant. Now it's time to take a look at the weather. Alex, so much excitement about the supermoon. How did it look here? Yes, well, we did have some spectacular pictures sent in, such as this one from Mikey B in Sialby. Thanks a lot to everybody who took part. That's not the only interesting feature that we've seen. We also saw some snow flurries last night, particularly up in the Peak District over Derbyshire and elsewhere as well. And that really sets a theme because we're still dragging that cold air down from the north, thanks to that area of low pressure stuck in the North Sea at the moment. So looking at the detail this afternoon we'll continue to see some bright spells some blue skies but the cloud will increase there'll be the odd scattered shower here and there and that could be wintry with highs of around six degrees celsius we've got quite a brisk northwesterly breeze as well going through the course of tonight under clear skies temperatures will fall away lows of around two or three degrees celsius in towns and cities the possibility of frost in rural spots and out to the east a few more showers on the way over the course of tomorrow, again, we'll see those showers creeping in from the east, but still some bright weather, particularly further to the west of the region, but still feeling very cold with highs of around 6 degrees Celsius. With the wind chill in that as well, it'll feel a couple of degrees cooler. I'll leave you with the outlook rather chilly over the next few days. Wrap up warm. OK, good advice. Thanks, Alex. Now, that's all from your lunchtime team. Anne and Dominic will be back with East Midlands today at 6.30 this evening. Join them then. Bye for now.